uh, Michael Brown, Solo Ray, coming to you live. Except for when you watch this, then it'll be recorded. <laughs> Uh, this is in response to Anthony from New Jersey's question to Renewable Nation. Hello, my name is Anthony from New Jersey. Uh, my question is, what kind of initial investment is involved in installing solar panels on my roof? And is it something that someone like me, who is not super handy, uh, can do on my own? Thank you. Bye. Hi, Anthony. Um, so, uh, the initial investment to get into a solar system should be, it depends. I mean, you'll hear this a lot. Well, almost like everything in life is it depends. But it depends on what you're looking to do. So, if, if you want to have the quickest and biggest return on the investment, pay cash, right? Pay cash, make sure you're taking care, uh, advantage of any incentives offered by your um, utility, state, and also the, uh, the tax credit. It's the uh, Renewable Energy Tax Credit. Um, it's going to go down next year to 26%, but that's fine. 26% is pretty good. This year it's 30%. Don't expect to be installed and in service in order to claim that tax credit this year. It's just kind of unobtainable right now however um, you can still you've got a whole year to get the 26% next year and whatever you can go to the desire DSIRE okay we'll put a link for the desire website and that'll and then you go to your state you can actually you can look at all the uh, available programs and also both uh, in your state uh, and locally and also utilities they post all that up on there if you're looking for your quickest return on investment cash cash is always king right so um, that's gonna greatly reduce the time that the system actually pays for itself as far as initial investment if you weren't looking to be a cash customer if you're looking at financing everybody out there They'll say that they don't because there's a lot of dealer fees, which means that the contractor would have to pay a lot of fees for the good uh, um, financing options. But there are financing options out there as low as 2.99% for 20 years. Okay, And that's an excellent, excellent um, uh, program because that means that you're beating uh, your savings. You should be. should be beating your savings. And you should do the math. Um, and uh, make sure that your savings are beating your payment, right? What your projected savings are. And those financing uh, options are almost always zeroed out. Okay, so they're unsecured loans. Uh, you can get uh, secured loans. They're easier to qualify for, but they take a lot longer. The process takes a lot longer to get a secured loan, right? Because now we're talking about title searches and... Um, uh, closings and uh, all kinds of rigmarole and generally the secured loans are not no money down because once once the system's paid for and you have no payments everything is free everything that it produces you're consuming and that becomes a net zero as far as money okay not net zero as far as what your bill is um, net zero as far as your bill regards kilowatt hours so Unless we know what your kilowatt hours, we can't project what your uh, annual net zero would be or what size system it would take and or whether your roof would be compatible with that size system to produce that because it would, you know, different orientations and I think we went over the whole sunlight thing and through the year. <laughs> Second part is uh, of the question was, is this something that you could uh, DIY? Highly, highly, highly discourage that. This is electrical work that most electricians don't even know how to do. Okay, so and to do it well, uh, it takes a lot of knowledge, not a little bit of knowledge, and a lot more than just your general electrician. It's more than just knowing how to put a circuit together. Um, and once you get these um, general uh, entry-level electricians that haven't done large-scale jobs and uh, mechanical terminations versus wire nuts and and, uh, and uh, crimps uh, and also specialty tools 
um, in order to finalize other things and then uh, how to actually test it out. And then with the equipment that you're going to install as a manufacturer or going to honor their warranty if you're not a licensed professional. So, and we're dealing with minimum warranties on this equipment of 10 years. Okay, so even the least warranty, and on almost all the, even the 10 year warranty, you can purchase extended warranties, but they're not gonna give an individual installation those warranties. It's gonna void the warranties, in fact. So be careful about that. Okay, so uh, not something I recommend to do DIY. Um, and then the jurisdictions and the, um, the utilities are probably gonna frown on that too, right? So you're not gonna realize, you think you're gonna save a whole bunch of money, but in the end, if you have to have it removed and then reinstalled by a professional, look at how much that's gonna cost um, versus what it would have been if you would have hired a, a contractor in the first place. That's skilled in doing this so refer to consumer reviews outside of google look for like solar reviews better business bureau um, things like that something with some kind of a reputation behind it as far as the consumer reviews for the company um, and i guess that just about wraps it up as far as answering that question i hope you have a great christmas and uh, stay warm up in New Jersey.